Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, we start the day. Bitcoin is going down a little bit. That was, yeah, expected. It at least looked like that. Um, the Bitcoin would break out of this kind of triangle pattern here to, to the downside. I already posted that earlier today. Um, just when looking for the at the chart for the first time on Discord, the signal earlier today to our gold members was the price needs to break above 59k pretty much for a first indication that a low has formed which means there is no confirmation for a low we have to expect the correction to continue at the moment it looks as if the price is forming a triangle which might hint at more downside to come that was still when we were still in the triangle and we had one rapid sell off the trend line broke of the triangle you see it here more detailed trend line broke and we've now hit that 78.6 retracement. We've even gone slightly below that with no hint that the um, correction is complete. Good news is a triangle is often not the last, but the second to last pattern in a cycle. So it could be that this move down is the last one. Um, obviously, the chart will need to prove that. Okay, that's not a prediction, but it's, it's, it's typically what happens that after a triangle break, a triangle breaks and it's normally very swift. And then this could normally be the last move. Let's go to the live chart, take a look at that, um, which is obviously this one. We've now slightly broken below support, which does not show strength. But bear in mind, we're tracking here a B wave to the downside. And these B waves can slightly overshoot previous swing lows even and support. B waves can go a little bit lower. What I will do now, I will add the next support level. So at least we have something to watch. And the next support level is, I take, that out, I take out the ones we don't need, um, is the 88.7 FIP level at 57,900. Now, I would be extremely careful because the structure, as I said, it is very fragile. It is difficult. But here I'd now watch for reversal signals. Um, it There is no reversal signal yet. But... As soon as we get a break, maybe above these trend lines, that could be a signal. I'll take the resistance area out. We don't need that anymore because chart has now um, yeah, dropped, <laughs> has dropped. Um, obviously, I think the earliest signal we could really get would be a break below the, no, above the trend line. We could even say, I mean, maybe this was not a triangle. Yeah, Maybe this was not a triangle. Maybe this was just, let's say, a normal correction. And then I have run out of wave degrees, but this could be a one, two, three, four, maybe maybe one more low to come. That's not a prediction. It just tells us where we need to draw resistance from. And a break above this micro resistance area would be an early indication a low is in. 58,344. But that would go along with a break above the trend line. So now we are... At this 78.6 FIP level, we've already reclaimed that. And a break above 58,344 would be an early indication a low is in, coupled with a break above the trend line. And then we could look at possibly wave C to the upside to form. That's what I'm watching for today. But I don't even discuss a low, that a low is in until I see a break above that resistance. I hope that's clear. The trend is down from yesterday's top. So the trend is down. We have to expect the correction to continue. And where could that lead us? Well, if it goes down and down and down and lower, um, because, I mean, this is literally now time for it to turn around to the upside. But uh, bear in mind, the microstructures might change due to the fragility of the structures in this um, sideways range. And we have to be flexible. We're not dealing with any impulsive structures. They are all just corrective. But as I said to you, you know, for the bulls to really, this by the way now looks like a five wave move down in wave C. So this could really be close to a low, but until I see a break above resistance, I'm not gonna say that we've started wave C to the upside. So I am expecting lower prices as long as we stay below resistance and below the trend line here. But what I wanted to share is the, the structure is fragile. We have to expect wave count changes on the micro level. Just go with the flow, the market will tell us, but where will it lead us? So if it doesn't find support somewhere in this region, then I'm showing you that on a daily chart. It's likely going to follow this pathway to the downside. Someone asked me earlier today if I could show the, and we already had this potential on the chart, 
But if I could show the detailed wave count for this on the chart, this is the sell off scenario towards 43K. Doesn't mean we have to test 43K, but maybe it will take us into the mid 40K region. What is that scenario? It is still based on the idea that we could be in a larger wave four triangle. And that at the same time, if we get another low that will take us below the 5th of August low, it will, um, how should I say, it, it will open the door to much more declines, right? I mean, if we start to lose support and support levels, you know, support after support, then yeah, it could still be with one more low away for technically testing 43K or just above that, but it would not be clearly bullish anymore. And it would rule out one bullish count, you know, which is the white one here. It would basically reset way four. That opens the door to another bearish count, a more bearish version. So please be aware of that. That's why a couple of weeks ago in our member live stream, I explained in detail my thoughts about this and how to handle potentially portfolios, you know, because we don't want to be in a position where we have to panic sell. It's all about being comfortable with holdings and everything. But that's sort of more the portfolio side. From a structural point of view, this is the roadmap, which could send us next to around about 50K. Yeah, if that happens, I mean, then we are likely in the yellow count. And that opens the door, as I said, to 43K. Everybody's prepared here. All the scenarios are on the chart. It's important to understand the key pivots. This move down has already now become more likely, given that we are losing micro support. And that's why I said, you know, we don't want to entertain the idea it lowers in until we see a first break above resistance because of the risk here. And it's a plausible wave count or I wouldn't show it. But it's going to be an interesting day, a very decisive week that could really shape the trajectory for Bitcoin over the next few weeks. Similar story. Uh, in the SPX, which I also analyze on our other channel, the MTO channel and in our um, stock service, the S&P 500, also the NASDAQ, you know, I made a video on that on the MTO channel yesterday or a couple of days ago. It is also at a pivotal point and this week could be very decisive. So we have a lot of decisions coming up um, because we're now in key resistance areas on these charts. Here, Bitcoin just needs to avoid to drop much lower um, to save the direct upside scenario. I'll keep you updated. Hope you update. Uh, hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.